Hey everyone, this is Everview, and today I'll be showing you the most affordable way to get into VR, the Dell Mixed Reality Headset. Now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this controller. First the basics. This has a joystick, a touchpad, a menu button, a windows button, a side button, and a trigger. These controllers connect through Bluetooth, so if your laptop or computer doesn't have one, I'd recommend getting one of these. It's a cheap Bluetooth adapter, you can probably find them anywhere. So the cons of the controllers are that it feels pretty light, kind of cheap. Um, it The front part feels really flimsy, it feels like it can break, I don't know how long that would last. And the vibration motor feels really cheap and weak. Other than that, it's a pretty decent controller. Now onto the headset. So the headset has a glossy front and matte sides. Uh, it's by Dell, so it's pretty decent. It has these little pop-up features, so you can take it off. And to adjust tightness, there's a little dial on the back. Uh, cool things about this headset is there's a Velcro piece on the back. You can just pull it off. Uh, it's really handy if you need to wash it or something. The front side also does it too, but it's a little harder to put back on. And since it's just Velcro, all you have to do is just stick it back on and it's reusable. So yeah, the front also comes off, but I won't be taking it completely off because like I said, it's hard to put on. Um, it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It comes out of the headset itself, so it's pretty handy if you want headphones and not connected to your PC itself. At the end of the cable, it has a USB 3.0 and an HDMI cable. So that's to connect it, your headset to the PC itself, and the cable itself is pretty long. Connecting it to the PC itself is fairly easy. The HDMI port to your graphics card, and the USB port to the motherboard. Same thing with the Bluetooth adapter, just plug it in and you should be good to go. So the setup for this is extremely simple. All you need is to get the Mixed Reality application, open it up, press Run Setup, and first you just gotta point your headset at the computer, press Center, and then trace it. So tracing is literally just going around your boundary. Uh, as you see, I'm just going around my room and you can see on the screen it's creating a little map for me and all you do is press accept and that's basically the whole setup the controllers should pop up in the left side and all you have to do is connect and calibrate them but other than that that's basically it this is a great headset for affordability uh, convenience because you don't need satellites the whole headset does in inside out tracking, so basically uses the cameras to track where your controllers are and your location. So this is my gameplay from my other video. It shows how good it is with room tracking. Um, this is just Beat Saber. Uh, before you do any Steam VR games, you have to download a Steam VR application. That's pretty simple. But I'll have some more gameplay videos just showing off the room tracking in another video. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe.